So a couple of foldable smartphones have already been introduced into the smartphone market and it looks like every smartphone brand is trying to make a name for themselves with the foldable phones except for Apple who, who have not introduced their foldable phones yet. But today this is the most affordable foldable smartphone and it is from Tegno. Believe me when I say this is a huge success story for the brand. Although not the best foldable smartphone out there but it is also recommendable and this is my review of the Tegno Phantom V Fold after one month. I mean this is my experience after one month with this smartphone. Starting off with the price, this phone cost 675,000 in Naira. It's very affordable if you ask me my opinion and the specs that comes with this phone is also very very impressive. So when I had this phone for the first time, the first thought I had was Tegno really want to make a very very good first impression with this foldable phone. Do you remember when we had the, the pop-up camera phone from Tegno? Now we have a foldable phone that opens up like a notepad. After one month experience with this phone, I think it's going to last for a long time. I'm talking about durability and that's one very very important aspect when it comes to getting a smartphone especially when it's a foldable phone like this and i know you're probably going to be asking if it's going to break apart at the end of the day or go bad i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon or ever the hinge of this phone feels very tough and i didn't notice any degradation in my usage time but fingers crossed it is the heaviest foldable phone in the market it weighs about almost 300 grams but it has a unique finish when it comes to the design and also environmentally friendly I mean, you're holding a phone and you definitely know you're holding a phone. It has very good grip and it will not slip off from your hand so easily. And I also love how it feels. It really feels premium. And I love what Tegno did here with the design. So instead of giving us something shiny and a slippery glass back, instead they made an eco-friendly build for a device and it doesn't have to slip off from your hand so easily considering the price. For me, that's a plus on the design side of things of the Tegno Phantom Fold. And then the display which is a real highlight of this phone so both the interior and exterior display has a speedy 120 hz refresh rate the exterior features a 6.4 inch display with an aspect ratio of 21 is to 9 and protected by the gorilla glass victors of course it is amoled display but apart from using the phone on a regular like your calls or a normal smartphone just open it to enjoy a tablet like experience it's a 7.8 inches display when you open the fold and it has good color reproduction although it feels a bit plastic it feels a bit plastic when you touch the display perhaps it is for the foldable phone to easily fold but i don't think it's a ton of hair i mean we're expecting a glass here how would you fold the smartphone for me it's fine since it's a foldable phone i honestly think the best way to enjoy is to open the fold and enjoy an immersive display and that is how i've been enjoying media on the phantom v fold it is rich in color with all the AMOLED awesomeness present. But you wouldn't spend up to 700k for a smartphone just to be watching videos. I'm talking about the performance now. This phone comes with the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 Plus SoC and a 12 gigs of RAM that you can also expand or increase up to 9 gig. So be sure to throw whatever you have in mind on this smartphone. It will definitely handle all of them. I'm talking about games, video editing, whatever you have, bring it on. This phone is equal to the task. Of course, it's a flagship chipset and it will handle every heavy task. Speaking of gaming, in my gaming experience, I was thinking this phone is going to heat up after playing the game for a while, but it never did. It remained fast and responsive, and that's a very good point to consider. And same goes for the side mounted fingerprint. It's fast enough to unlock without struggles, whether folded or not, it's snappy. And then the 5000 mAh battery on this phone also proved strong and efficient. It does not support wireless charging, but it supports a 45 watt fast charge. Even with the 120Hz screen refresh, the 12 gigs of RAM here, opening and folding of the device, the battery remained intact. It actually lasted for a long time in my one month experience and continue. Inside the big camera bomb behind, this phone prides a three camera lenses. The main camera lens is a 50 megapixel primary lens and then another 50 megapixel telephoto portrait camera and lastly a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera but sometimes these camera numbers don't really matter it is the picture or the video quality that really speaks out loud and i love what the techno phantom v has brought to the table 
very clear images with all details intact. From the color, the background separation, I mean, everything is well defined. Whether it's portrait image or a normal picture, except for the ultra wide image, because in real life, I mean, we hardly take ultra wide pictures. So just leave it there. Okay, so this is a 4K at 60 frames video from the 50 megapixels ray camera of the Techno Phantom V Fold. Color reproduction is okay, and I think Techno actually nailed this one, and it's it's very, very okay. Okay, so this is me flexing the front facing camera of the Techno Phantom V4. Honestly, guys, this is perfect. To be very honest, it is good. I mean, high dynamic range is present. You can still see the color of the sky, and the color reproduction is okay. Honestly, Techno nailed this one. Believe me, they actually nailed this one. And stabilization is not so good on this one, but everything else seems okay. I mean, so what do you guys think of the picture quality and the sound you're hearing coming out from the Techno Phantom V4? Do let me know in the comment. And also, if you're here for the first time, please smash that red subscribe button and don't leave it out dropping a comment. I've always been looking forward to have a foldable experience and the Techno Phantom V4 is not a bad idea. I mean, for a month now, I've had a premium experience with this device. Except you have your own personal thoughts. Like, do you think spending 700,000 naira here on this smartphone is really worth it or not? So guys, this is my review of the Techno Phantom V4 after a month. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.